Let's learn in this video how to import existing Azure resources into the Terraform configuration files. To use an infrastructure as code tool like Terraform is highly recommended. So organizations who have existing infrastructure that was not created by Terraform, it was created might be by the Azure portal or by the command line or by other infrastructure as code tools, now they want to import that existing infrastructure into their local Terraform configuration. There are multiple tools that we can use. One of them is to use the native Terraform import resource, but that will not create the Terraform TF uh, files that will import the uh, resources only into the state file. But there are also other resources that will enable us to import these resources into the Terraform state file and also to import that resource or to reverse engineer the Terraform configuration file so that will generate the resources inside the TF files. One of these tools is the Azure Terrafy. Azure Terrafy is available as an open source project on GitHub where here describes how that project works. So we have two steps. First step, Azure Terrafy will go to use Terraform import in order to import the existing Azure resources into the Terraform state file. And the second step will use another tool called TF add that tool will go to read the Terraform state file and then it will go to generate the Terraform configuration based on that TF state file. So here I start based on an empty folder where here I have only the commands.sh file that contains the scripts or the few commands that I'll be using today, mainly the Azure TF file. And then switching to the command line here, I need first to go to install the Azure Terrafy command line. So I can do that using the go uh, module install. And after that, I have already installed it into my machine before starting this demo. Uh, so then if I run AZTFI, then here I will find the command line along with the options that are supported with it. So enter of today, AZTFI supports exporting or importing Azure resources only from within one resource group. It, it does not support uh, importing resources from the entire subscription, for example. So when we export, we have few options. One of them is dash B. This is the batch mode, which means that it will go to import all the resources within that resource group. Then we have the dash F, which will go to override the, fold the files from within the existing folder. And then dash K, in order to continue the import operations to import the, the remaining resources, if an error happens when exporting one of these resources. And then we have dash M. So when we export resources, we can say export all the resources from a certain resource group, or we can also specify a file where we will put the resource IDs of the resources we want to export. And that file will look like this one here is JSON file where we put the Azure resource ID and then the resource type and define it in Terraform and the name of that resource. And for a real example, we have here some definition of the resource ID in, as defined it in Azure and then the actual resource type as defined it in Terraform. So then Azure Terrafy will import only these specific resources. And then we have dash O to specify the output directory dash p to specify the pattern for naming the resources so by default we call it the name of the resource then dash 0 dash 1 dash 2 and so on so and we can override that pattern so to import resources here i'll go to create a new empty folder make sure it's really empty and then i'll go to generate the resources created in my azure subscription where here i have in this uh, resource group in this resource group here, I have some Azure resources like an app service plan, an app service, a database, and SQL server, and a storage account. So I want to import these resources from my Azure subscription into Terraform configuration and a Terraform state file. So let's note first the name of the resource group. And then from the command line, I'll go to run the command aztfy dash o the name of the folder and then the name of the resource group which is azure terraform web sql db and then let's go to run this command so azure terrafy started running right here it's initializing my repository if i switch to vs code here i can see it degenerated the uh, this folder with the name of the terraform provider for azure it degenerated the state file and it degenerated the provider.tf file where here it will put the version of the azure rm provider 
It takes few seconds to run and once it finishes it will give me here all the resource IDs that it did detected in my resource group RG Terraform Web SQL DB and then those resources are my storage account, the SQL server and the SQL uh, database. The tool here shows lots of duplicated resources because it's still in preview at the end. And for each of these resources, what I can go to do here, I can go to specify which are the only resources I want to export or to import. And then I can change the name of that resource that will be created in Terraform. So this is going to be Azure RM SQL database dot 12. So I can change that name if I want to. So you note here most of the resources have this uh, skip um, uh, flag. Uh, this means those resources will not be actually imported on my, on my configuration because those are duplicate. So now once I'm okay with this configuration, I'll go to type W and that means now it will start the real work for importing these resources into the Terraform state file. So here I did import the storage account, the SQL server, and now it's importing this, the web app plan, the app service plan. Let's give it a few seconds. And while it's doing its work, we can see that here it did generate another file that is the main.tf file, which contains for now the app service plan. It's uh, the block of this resource is still empty, but it's doing the work behind the scenes to generate the configuration of these resources. Note how it also generated the log.hcr file and the log file for the tf state would, because it did run it and under the scenes it did run the command terraform init which will auto generate these files. Now once all is done here we can see uh, now it's asking me to press any key to quit. So if you check here the generated files, you can find here three main files generated. So the first one right here is the Terraform state file. This one was completely generated by the tool. So here we will find inside the resources, the resources that was imported into this TF state file that contains these resources along with their uh, configuration into TF state. So here we can find that uh, web app, for example, or mainly the app service plan and the resource group and the database. The second file that was generated is the main TF which contains the actual Terraform configuration that was auto-generated by the tool. So this file will contains the Terraform resources. So first of all, we have the app service plan with the name REST2 and we have the configuration of that app service like the name and so on. Note how it also detected the dependencies of this app service plan. And next we have the definition of the SQL database where we have its name, its location, to which resource group it belongs to, and then the server name and the dependencies. And note here for the dependencies, it's put into a comment with the resource ID of that dependency, which is here in this case, that's gonna be the SQL Server resource ID. So here, uh, some of the configuration of this file, it needs actually to be edited um, manually. So it does not generate 100% valid configuration file. Some other resources that were generated are the vulnerability assessment for the database and the host name binding, which by the way, we don't need it in this case. So we can go to and just delete it from our configuration. And at the end, we have here the resource group along with its tags and name and location. So if you see the actual resources that are in Azure and we compare that into the resources that were imported into the Terraform configuration file, we can find some differences. This tool is not yet completed. It's not yet ready to use for production. So we can see, for example, the app service itself was not yet imported into this Terraform configuration file. Neither the Terraform or neither the storage account were, was imported. So again, this tool will help you as a starting point to import your Terraform or your Azure resources into a Terraform configuration, but then you will need to edit this configuration manually. The third file that was generated here is this JSON file that will describe the mapping of the resources here. 
where here we have the resource ID for the resource group, for example, and then the name of that resource in, uh, in Terraform configuration. And the same for the other resources, like for the product database, for the app service plan, and so on. So this is the same file that could be used to specify the only resources that we want to import from the Azure subscription. So now from here, if I go to run Terraform plan, if the import was successfully done, then the existing resources described in the main.tf file should be the same as the ones that are deployed into Azure. And here we get some warnings and, and some errors because again, I don't expect this tool to be 100% accurate. Great, I hope you liked this video. If you wanna get the demo environment for this video, so go to check out this GitHub repository where I have a folder called 91 that have all the scripts that we have run today for importing resources using Terra Terrafy.